president. As climate change warms our atmosphere, higher temperatures could have an unexpected consequence. More snow, specifically lake effect snow, could intensify. Parts of upstate New York got several inches Monday morning. Jeff Berardelli is the lead meteorologist at our West Palm Beach, Florida affiliate, WPEC. All right, Jeff, I'm very familiar being a child of Chicago with lake effect snow. Mm. Explain what causes lake effect snow. Well, it's that time of year again, Elaine, because we have these strong pushes of cold Arctic polar air making their way across the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes are still warm this time of year, and the air is very cold. So when you have that cold air blowing over that very mild water, you get evaporation to happen and condensation. So the atmosphere kind of starts to boil. We get these big snowflakes that start to fly, and all that snow comes downwind into places, for example, like Syracuse and Rochester and even Chicago sometimes. Well, how might climate change and warming temperatures, Jeff, affect the frequency or severity of lake effect snow? Well, it may be counterintuitive, but take a look at this graphic right here. Now, since about 1973, look at that downward decline in the amount of ice cover on the Great Lakes, and that's because it's been warming up. It used to be close to 60 percent. Now it's down to 40 percent during the middle of the winter. So that basically exposes a lot more of the water to evaporation. You don't have that cap of ice. And so what used to be mild water becomes warm water, and the snow grows even taller. These clouds get bigger, uh, the snowstorms get stronger, and all that snow gets dumped on places like Syracuse, Rochester, and places like Michigan, and all across the Ohio Valley and places like Cleveland. So we are actually already seeing that. Take a look at this. This dates back to around 1930. We used to average around 75 inches of snow around the Great Lakes, and now we average as much as 85 inches of snow. So mm. as the water warms up, the contrast between cold and warm increases, and the snow totals get bigger. Wow, really remarkable to see those numbers. Well, mm -hmm. as people prepare, Jeff, to travel for the upcoming holiday weekend, is there any wintry weather in the forecast? There's some, but here's the good news. Not too much across the United States, which is good for travel. Now, we're going to see a little bit of snow, kind of a quick hit of some snow around Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Binghamton, Syracuse Wednesday morning for maybe a couple of hours, maybe up to Burlington, Vermont, and then nothing until the weekend. Now, this is going to be a powerful front on Saturday. Strong cold front, and then the lake effect snow machine is going to start cranking here on Saturday and Sunday. Heavy snow in places like Cleveland, Erie, maybe in Buffalo, Syracuse, Binghamton. Burlington, we're likely to see as much as 6 to 12 plus inches of snow downwind of some of these lakes in some areas. Now, of course, lake effect snow, some places you get flurries, other places you get a foot or two, and all you have to do is drive a couple of miles. It's a very interesting situation, and we're likely to see more of this over the next couple of decades as the globe starts to warm. All right, Jeff Paradelli for us. Jeff, thank you. You're welcome.